It's Diversity TV, bringing you the untold stories across Canada. This month is Asian Heritage Month. Here's your Diversity Community Newscast for May 14th, 2021. Hosted by Harriet Tinka and myself, Raya Sempala. Sponsored by Razi Plumbing and Heating. Here are the headlines for this week. Know your rights. Edmonton Police Service to educate the community about their rights when interacting with police officers. CDEA launches a bilingual tourism program. Now the news in detail with Harriet Tinka. segment number one and this is really exciting for all Albertans who are ready to travel this summer. On Monday, March 29, 2021, the CDEA officially launched the Northern Alberta Bilingual Tourism Network. Thanks to funding from Western Economic Diversification Canada for the project developing francophone and indigenous tourism experiences in northern alberta the community and regional economic support c-a-r-e-s program and the collaboration of several regional partners the cdea is unveiling the new the new roots dash ab.ca website where visitors can choose from among some 200 attractions in Northern Alberta and use an interactive map to create a personalized itinerary. But you can also have your own hard copy, tangible in your own hands, so you can also take advantage of that. Yes, and there's value for such a project for small and medium-sized tourism businesses at a pivotal moment in the industry in terms of visibility and promotion, according to Cydia President Emil Caron. Incorporated into the tourismalberta.ca digital platform, which provides information on the province in French. The section dedicated to Northern Alberta bilingual tourism routes also offers internet users the opportunity to select a thematic circuit offering a variety of cultural heritage and agritourism and family experiences just to name a few and i think for me what i liked about the magazine i saw some areas that i can go hiking like drum hell are one of my favorite spots so take advantage of this book and enjoy alberta Equipped with this new entirely bilingual tool, vis visitors from across the country can now access an infinite combination of points of interest and email the selection or share it on social media. An intuitive experiences combining accessibility and autonomy awaits them with just a few clicks. This initiative has been a collective endeavor from its earliest stages as evidenced by the current involvement of some 30 regional partners, according to CDA Executive Director Etienne Allery. For more information, please contact Nina Lubrick, Communication and Public Relations Manager. You can reach her via email at nina at l-e-c-d-e-a dot c-a. And Julia Fafad, CDEA Director of Tourist Development and Entrepreneurship, shares this with Diversity TV. My name is Julie Fafard. I am a Director, Touristic Development and Entrepreneurship at CDEA, which is the Francophone Economic Development Council of Alberta. So here we work in tourism, and we invite our French-speaking visitors to discover our beautiful province in Alberta. So if you want to follow us, please visit our different platform at Tourisme Alberta.
Bonjour, je suis Julie Fafard, directrice du développement touristique et entrepreneuriat au CDEA, qui est le Conseil de développement économique de l'Alberta. Nous appuyons par diverses initiatives le secteur du tourisme et nous vous invitons à nous suivre sur nos différentes plateformes à Tourisme Alberta. Segment 2. When stopped by the police, you are not under any arrest or detention. This is different from someone driving a car. Inspector Mitch Flamen with Edmonton Police Service on the launch of Know Your Rights on May 10, 2021. Edmonton Police Service launches a Know Your Rights campaign to inform the community on their rights when interacting with the police in print online. When an EPS officer stops you or approaches you to speak with you, they must identify themselves, tell you why you have been stopped or why they want to talk to you. If you are arrested or detained, tell you what for. Advise you that you can talk to a lawyer if you are under arrest and provide you with an opportunity to do so in privacy and safety. They also have to let, let you be on your way if you're not being arrested or detained. Give you a copy of a search warrant if it authorizes them to search you or your home. Act reasonably and respectfully during a search. Not use excessive force or damage your property without reason. Return your property to you within three months if your property was seized as a part of a search and you have not been charged with an offense. When an investigation takes longer than three months, a police officer needs permission from a judge to keep your property for longer than three months. And I think this is very important for people to know what their rights are. When you are stopped or approached by an EPS officer, you do not need to answer the questions of a police officer. You are required to identify yourself if you are breaking a law, including municipal bylaws and provincial laws that require a ticket to be issued or are under arrest. You can generally say no when police ask to search your belongings unless you are under arrest or being detained with safety concerns. You may leave unless you are being detained or arrested. If you are arrested or detained, you have a right to speak with a lawyer as soon as officers can give you the privacy and safety to do so in your circumstances. Have a right to know a police officer's name or badge number. You are not required to give the access to your to your home unless they have a warrant or have an urgent reason to enter your home. You can ask to see a copy of the search warrant that authorize police to enter your home. You are required to provide your driver's license, car registration, and insurance if you're stopped while driving. You do not generally have a right to speak to a lawyer before taking a roadside breath test. You can report a police officer to the Chief of Police or Edmonton Police Commission if you have been abused, treated unfairly, or had your rights violated. For more information or to download a free brochure, please go to www.edmontonpolice.ca slash know your rights. And you can also rewind this because we covered a lot because this information is information you should be aware of when you want to know your rights. Today for the official launch of the Edmonton Police Services Know Your Rights campaign. The Know Your Rights campaign at its core is an initiative intended to inform individuals and community organizations of the respective rights and responsibilities of individuals and Edmonton police officers. Segment three, 
Black Canadian Women in Action, BCW in Action, share some success stories out of their business entity, BCB. Hello everyone, my name is Ann Mina, the Program Coordinator for BCB in Action. BCB, Black Canadian Businesses, is the business entity of BCW in Action. Here we have the goal and the mission to support, empower, promote, and advocate for all Black businesses in Western Canada. We support you by hosting programs led by experts in their field to give you the platform and the tools that you need in order to succeed. The business fundamentals, the necessary financial training, everything that you can think of to help you succeed in business. In empowering, we empower you because we know every business is unique, every person is unique, and so we want to ensure that the resources, knowledge, and people that you need are at your fingertips in order to innovate in your business. We promote you. This is an online world, right? So uh, it, from search engine optimization to social media effectiveness to website development, it's important to have an online presence. And we help you learn how to be effective in your promoting. We also advocate for you. We are at the seat of the table where decisions are being made. These decisions are key in how future business is going to develop, and we want the voice of the black community to be incorporated. Please come and visit us at bcbinaction.org in order to find out all of the support and resources we have available for you. Thank you. I've taken part in a number of their online conferences. Uh, they've just been really great at just sharing information about uh, getting your businesses started and understanding what's available for women in Canada um, with developing their businesses here. I'm involved in their, their business workshop right now, okay. and uh, I've taken part in some of their, their workshops online, and they've really helped so far with just honing down on my marketing okay. and having a better understanding of, you know, how do I really target my marketing for my ideal customers? Definitely, I mean, since we're all sort of in our homes, yeah. Being available to market yourself online has mm -hmm. been huge mm -hmm. and walking into Instagram and Facebook not no longer as an individual but as a as a business is a bit of a leap. So being able to learn new skills through BCW has been really helpful. I found them on Facebook just strolling through. I fill out the application and then Tessie is the one who contacted me and I've been since I've been a part of the program. Since uh, November of last year, when I went to their first in-person workshop, and then we have been online since then. I've been, I've given the great opportunity of meeting Tessie, and she has given me the chance to learn about lo how to apply for loans, about the many grants, about stress in the workplace, how to write a business plan. I've learned so much being on the program since November of last year. And recently we are going to be featured we are going to be signing up for the francophone market that's the next thing Tessie had me filling out for so that should be good for us on an online scale for us to sell our service and also offer a jerk chicken sauce that we hear of here on Island Vibes. I was there when BCW started for the very first time uh, to support. Actually, uh, the uh, president executive, Jeanne Le Mans, was I was in contact with her, supporting her on what she's doing. And I attended several of the uh, workshops where I learned uh, about what the women are doing and also connecting with other people that was there to uh, as attempt the workshop. And that's how I create a connection with others. Business, as you know, is uh, everyone who owns a house or an apartment is uh, need our business. So definitely, everyone that I connect with in, in uh, uh, any workshop that uh, BCW organized, uh, it was so helpful for us. Before we go to our next segment, let's have a word from our supporters. <music> Segment four, we are now accepting content for the summer diversity magazine print. 
our first bilingual magazine is out now. The new Black History Month slash Women's Day Diversity Magazine print edition is now published. A bilingual magazine in French and English with full color, glossy, beautiful printed copies being distributed across Alberta. This is an inspiring magazine. I had a chance to read most of it. I'm not done yet because there's quite a lot of stories to cover. And what's exciting about it, it's, it's bilingual. So if you speak English or if you speak French, it's yeah. very exciting for Diversity TV. Now, loaded with ins it's also loaded with inspiring Black History Month stories, as well as exciting stories of 41 women across Alberta as part of International Women's Day Special 2021. You can also download it, a free copy, at www.diversitymag.ca or you can and click rather on digital magazine on top of the menu bar. You can get a receipt of new content for the summer edition of Diversity Print Magazine is now open. A new addition to diversity offerings, Diversity Magazine introduces Souvenir of Prominence. We are so proud to partner with Powerplay Sports to take our storytelling to a new level. We can now use beautiful designs and fancy colors to capture your Diversity Award experiences and wonderful articles on a presentable plaque, trophy, medal, or sign. Interested in adding diversity souvenir or prominence to your collection, trophy, cabinet, on your desk or wall? Let's talk. You can contact us at 780-709-0965 or www.diversitymag.ca. Yeah, I think everybody who's, who's had some experience with Diversity Magazine, make sure you get that souvenir of prominence very very valuable for your pla as a plaque as raya said you can put it on your wall yes you can be braggadocious about it i think that's a word yes it is a word <laughs> on to segment number five fashion and beauty time on diversity tv what are we going to talk about when it comes to fashion? Well, when a group of women bond together, great things happen. Adedoyin Omotara takes us on a tour of Adonai Beauty that she has put together with other female entrepreneurs to form an all-in-one beauty complex in Westbrook Mall in Calgary. Mm. That's a big deal. I saw what she did. I am the founder of Adonia Beauty at Westbrook Mall, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. We have women come in to get all their beauty needs met. Um, we do makeup, facials, um, nails, hair, lashes, you know, everything beauty we do here. Plus, we also um, come up with great conversations with women here that really connect them to their individual beauty. And a lot of women actually leave this place feeling really full. All right, so we offer services, we offer products, and um, we also teach. So we also have the academy, right? So we teach um, makeup, we teach facials, we teach, we teach all the um, beauty and aesthetics courses. And then we also retail product. We also offer all of the services, hair, makeup, facials, brows, lashes, and all of that. And yeah, we also retail services. I mean, we also retail products. Segment six. This week, we're celebrating the work of four women as part of Women's Day Special. Diversity Magazine, Women's Day Special 2021, Jan Reimer. Whether contributing to society at large as mayor of Edmonton, city councillor or executive director of Alberta Council of Women's Shelters, Jan consistently enables social development. She has always been recognized in many ways for her advocacy on ending violence against women and girls. Yes, yeah, she continues to do a lot of great work. 
Now, Diversity Magazine Women's Day Special 2021, Anne Durr. Anne Durr has 25 years of leadership at seniors' nonprofit programs, EFCL Long Time Outstanding Service Award, which she got in 1990, Canada's 125 Queen's Commemorative Medal, 1993, Honors Home Based Business, Der Promotions, Grant McEwen University Volunteer Management, 2005, Fund Development, 2006. Wow, she's well decorated with awards. She is, and for, she also has more awards coming up. She's also certified fundraising executive, CFRE International Accreditation, which she received in 2008. She also has a Mayor's Award for Outstanding Services to Persons with Disabilities, which she got in 2012. She is also part of the Suroptimist Club of Edmonton uh, for, from 2007 to 2021 and president from 2018 to 2020. Wow, she keeps on going. Diversity Magazine Women's Day Special 2021 also recognizes Maruchu Antonio. Maruchu Antonio is a strong advocate of social justice, human rights, equity, and anti-racism. She is a pioneering leader, innovator, and risk taker with 50 years of community development experience in the Philippines, Canada, UK, among others. Marichu is executive director at Action Dignity, a community-based organization that promotes full civic participation and integration of ethno-cultural communities in Alberta. For nearly 12 years, Marichu's leadership has transformed Action Dignity into a strong platform organization that serves to amplify the collective voice of over 100 culturally diverse groups and organizations. These empowered communities play a key role in advancing racial equity through transformation of public institutions and public policy and systems change. I think you can relate to her because you're all about social justice. Yes. yes, and it's such a big deal for her to be doing that. In, her, in recognition of her contribution towards strengthening communities, Maruchu was awarded the 2012 Queen's Diamond Jubilee Medal and Avenue Magazine's A-list of volunteers in 2009. Yes, on to our next Diversity Magazine Women's Day Special 2021 participant, Angie Ostojic. Angie Ostojic is a devoted mother, loving wife, visionary, leader, entrepreneur, passionate speaker, and friend. She was born and raised in the Philippines immigrate and immigrated to Canada in 1996. Well, Angie is passionate about giving back. She founded AO Giving Heart Incorporated, a foundation that aims to help feed and educate the poor children in the Philippines. She also started AO Magazine, where ordinary people share extraordinary life and business success stories, which inspires many. Angie thrives to create a community of like-minded people working towards the same mission and goal and helped numerous men and women achieve financial and time freedom. Humble to be nominated for Immigrant of Distinction Award finalist 2020 Entrepreneurship and Innovation. She wishes God's guidance to continue to be a supporter of different communities, a front runner in supporting new immigrants find their space as entrepreneurs and provide motivations to be productive citizens 
of this country. And it's such a big deal for her to have received this 2020 award during COVID-19. It just goes to show you that she's very innovative. Now, Diversity Magazine, Diversity Magazine Women's Day Special 2021 also recognizes Lila Ahir. Minister Ahir was appointed as Albada Minister of Culture, Multiculturalism, and Status of Women on April 30, 2021. Prior to entering politics, Ahir was a professional vocal coach and music teacher, owned and operated businesses as an entrepreneur, and was heavily involved in the arts, volunteerism, and community service. Well, you can read more about these amazing women for Diversity Women's Day Special on this website, www.diversitymag.ca. And don't forget to pick up your own copy of Diversity Bilingual Magazine. On to segment seven, Coronavirus Project cool times. Have you been vaccinated? Here are some tips from Alberta Health to help make the experience a bit easier. Talk to your healthcare provider beforehand if you have any questions or concerns. Make a plan to limit discomfort during your appointment. Wear a loose fitting or short sleeved top. Sit upright and relax your arm. Know what common side effects you may experience and how to manage them at home. It's common and normal to have a temporary side effects, which can last a few hours to a few days. If needed, you can ask your healthcare provider what they recommend to manage symptoms. Yes. And there's even more that you can do. Vaccines approved for use in Canada are proven safe, effective, and of high quality. Learn more about Alberta's vaccination rollout at alberta.ca slash vaccine. We're having increasing resistance on taking the COVID-19 vaccine in our multicultural communities. We invited a mother, a wife, a biologist, and a community leader, Esther Kamunya, to share why that is happening and what people need to know. So uh, my name is Esther Kamunya, and uh, professionally, I am a financial advisor. I work with people uh, with financial planning, risk management, investments, TFSAs, RRSPs, retirement planning, and things of that sort. But before I became a financial advisor, I was a scientist. So I first was a biology and chemistry teacher. And then I advanced in my education and went into research, forestry, agriculture, did some research in oil and gas. And eventually I changed my career and transitioned into the financial services. So yeah, I have done quite a bit. Yes, you're very well-rounded and you're very experienced. Now, speaking of research, now when it comes to research, I think immediately about the COVID-19 vaccine. And a lot of people have been a little bit, especially in our community, they're shying away from getting the vaccine. Can you unpack that and let us know what your thoughts are on that? I guess the biggest question you would ask is why? Why the, why the hesitance? Why are people hesitant um, on getting the vaccine? And there are, many, there are many reasons, but the biggest one I can think of, I think is the mis misinformation out there. I think there is a lot of misinformation about the vaccine and less of the good inf information. I look at it and I feel like the people who have either misleading information seem to be louder than the ones that have good information. And so people have problems teasing out what is good and what is not good, what is credible and what's not credible. And because of that, it causes a lot of confusion and a lot of fear. And I can, I can really, relate like there has been a lot of things that have 
have been circulating. And if you really don't know how to dig the information and understand the data and the science behind the vaccine, it's very easy for people to be confused. It's very easy for people to be scared. It's very easy for people to be very fearful. So for example, if you hear about something like the AstraZeneca vaccine and it's causing clots and it's doing all this, I can understand why people would be fearful. So I think that's the number one reason why. And just not being able to understand the data and how to make the decision. So um, we know that the vaccines have existed for a long time now and people usually take them even when a lot of um, immigrants are coming here, they have to take some vaccines even when they're here. So why is it with the COVID vaccine now we're only seeing people kind of being frightened by it? I really think it's a misinformation because you, you hit the nail on, on the head. When we were growing up back in Africa, we were all vaccinated. I usually tell people the reason why most of us made beyond the fifth birthday is because we were vaccinated. We were vaccinated against polio, you know, against measles, against D DPT, you know, diphtheria and all whooping cough. And these are diseases that you don't see anymore around because of vaccines. I do remember when I was coming uh, to Canada, I was, uh, supposed to get uh, some vaccines. I think some influenza vaccines, sometimes they want you to have um, the, you know, different vaccines when you're traveling. But now the resistance, why the resistance? I feel it's just the misinformation. I feel it's the conspiracies out there. And unfortunately, those conspiracies are carried sometimes by very respectable people in society doctors, preachers, and if you think about Africans, we have this thing about respecting our leaders and just following blindly sometimes what our leaders say. And unfortunately, we have had people that are in leadership positions or in very respectable positions that are misleading people. So I feel like that's the reason why, because everybody who is hesitant now to take the vaccine, they have been vaccinated with other vaccines. And you cannot even understand why this COVID vaccine is create, creating a lot of buzz. So have you been vaccinated yourself? I booked my vaccine. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the, the lineup is huge. Like I was trying mm -hmm. to look for vaccines here in Airdrie. There is no room for until like after four weeks or six weeks. So I have booked my vaccine now and I'm going to be vaccinated on May the 30th. So it's coming up soon at the Tellers Convention Center in, 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 um, in, in, in downtown. So I think it's important for people to keep trying and keep trying to book mm -hmm. the vaccine and get it wherever you can, whichever vaccine you can. I tell people that it's the, life is about risks and benefits, you know? So if sometimes, if you don't take the risk of the vaccine, the risk of getting the COVID virus is higher. And the risk of developing sickness is higher. And nobody knows how the sickness can affect them. But the other problematic thing is that the more the virus goes around, the more we give it room to evolve and become something more mysterious and something that we cannot understand. And the reason why, if you think about the, the COVID vaccines and all the hesitance, remember there was also hesitance about the disease itself. People did not believe there was the disease. People did not believe that it was as dangerous as it, we now know. And because of all that hesitant and people refusing to do the, uh, the, the social distancing, the masks and all that, the disease was allowed to spread in society so much. And that's why we have all the, the, the variants. That's why it's so hard to control. And the vaccines, all the data shows they are working. The places where the vaccines have been implemented, cases are going down. 
So the data really shows that the vaccines are working. So it's just a matter of give, giving people the right information and taking the vaccines and seeing that we are still okay. I take the vaccine, I'll still be okay. My friends have taken the vaccines, nothing bad has happened to them. The few cases are isolated cases. And so it's a risk and reward kind of a thing. Segment eight. So Harriet, what do you have for international news for our audience today? This week we have news from France as well as US. Now in France this week, France celebrates the end of slave trade and slavery, but a court ruled out compensation for victims of slavery on the grounds that it's been too long, even though the riches of slavery still benefits the country today. In neighboring U.S., a judge in Los Angeles ordered the city and county to find shelter for homeless within 180 days. L.A. City and county are considering an appeal for being forced to take care of over 66,000 of its most vulnerable. Wow. That's our international news for this week. Oh, segment nine. So, Raya, what's cooking this week? What is the dish of the week? This happened to be my favorite segment. Candelice line of products, which was founded by Edmonton-based Joseph Dongo, who brings together the best of both worlds, natural products from Canada and Africa to bring together a delicious spice. Some call it ranch, others call it dressing. It can be eaten with rice, fries, beef, salad and whatever you choose to use the mild or spicy flavor to be spiced up now i tried it with cucumbers and i also tried it with carrots but where can people get this spices this dressing or any of the stuff that he is selling so if you're ready to try out candelis go to kasoa tropical food market or for other locations go to the website at www.dongocoop.com Canalis.ca. Oh, you can use the hashtag Diversity TV Dish of the Week. Bon appetit. It's really good. It's like really unique. It's like something that you would expect to put on like so many different things. It's not just meat. I can see this on salad, different types of meats. <gasps> maybe fries potatoes and stuff like that and it's just really unique you know it's not like every other one you know it's, it's really unique i like it a lot candelis is a sauce sauce dressing uh, is a sauce that can spark the deliciousness in your daily meal and is very good for uh, any kind of food and you can use it for your barbecues for your pizza, for your burgers, and so on. Segment 10. We have a lot of announcement this week, don't we? Yes, we do. Edmonton will host a very important diversity conference this summer from July 6th to 10th at 9 a.m inviting big names like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. the third. For tickets, please go to www.diversityconference.ca. Empower black entrepreneurs to lead successful business project program. The aim of this pro program is to support black entrepreneurs by providing information, strategies, and resources to help them increase their capacity and viability to innovate their businesses and overcome the impact COVID-19 had on their businesses. The support, the support services will equip them to drive their businesses forward and identify ways to help their businesses prosper through webinars, forums, workshops, coaching, business skills development, 
training, peer support, and more best practices related to entrepreneurship. Our next announcement, how would you improve policing? Tell EPS your feedback matters. Everyone is welcome to share their ideas and experiences at these community listening sessions. But space is limited, so please register early or leave your comments at epsinput.ca. There's some upcoming opportunities to participate. Zoom listening session with Chief Dell McPhee will happen on Tuesday, May 18, 2021, from 6 to 8.30 p.m. Register on www.epsinput.ca. Africa Center is calling for mentors for its mentorship program in elementary, junior high, high school, and post-secondary school level. Contact Tawa at 780-455-5423, extension 206. And mentors are so important, especially for that age group. Actually, for anybody. Do you have a mentor? Yes, and I think it's a very important uh, part of anyone's life, actually. I agree. Everybody should have a mentor. Segment 11. May. Do you know what May is? May is Asian Heritage Month. Absolutely. May is the time to reflect and celebrate the contribution that Canadians of Asian descent have made and continue to make to the growth and prosperity of Canada. The theme for Asian Heritage Month 2021 is recognition, resilience, and resolve, which embodies the myriad of sentiments that people of Asian descent in Canada have experienced and honors their contributions and their diverse stories, which are rooted in resilience and perseverance. It's like the triple R, isn't it? Yes. It is also a call to action for all Canadians to come together to combat all forms of anti-Asian racism and discrimination. Let's celebrate the incredible diversity that is our strength and be resolute in our stand against all forms of anti-Asian racism and discrimination. Asian Heritage Month has been celebrated across Canada since the 1990s. In December 2001, the Senate of Canada adopted a motion proposed by Senator Vivienne Poi to officially designate May as Asian Heritage Month in Canada. In May 2002, the government of Canada signed an official declaration to designate May as Asian Heritage Month. Thank you for watching Diversity TV Community Newscast with your hosts, Harriet Tinka and myself, Raya Sempala. Please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification button so that you are the first to get the news as we upload it. We are on YouTube, Facebook, and we're also on TikTok, and you can find us at www.diversityplus.ca. See you next week.